Hello, Geminis. Geminis, what kind of week are you going to have, Geminis? This reading is for the 21st of October through the 28th. Now, Geminis, we know that this cycle actually ends on the 31st of October. This is Queen Amal Ra coming to you with your general reading. What kind of week are you going to have, Geminis? This is going to be a week of learning for a lot of people. Remember, this is we started out this cycle um, in Libra, and Libra is all about peace and balance and um, peace within yourself, healthy work-life balance, those kind of things. So you want to make sure you're not taking on anything or anybody else's whatever that's going to throw you out of alignment. It doesn't matter who it is. You're not taking on anything else that's going to throw you out of alignment. So this is where you're kind of sort of closing, getting ready to close out a cycle. You're getting ready to close out a cycle. You're just kind of like best practices, learning just kind of about yourself. So this this um, beginning of this week is going to really be about decreasing, banishing, repelling, cleansing away negativity, as well as breaking hexes and curses, right? So some of the things that you all can do this week is write down all the things that you're thankful for. You can cleanse your home and your space. You can cleanse a, a cleansing ritual bath. You can also write down what you want to let go of and burn it. Um, some people make moon water during this time, but... Whatever your rituals are, you know, just like get, like preparing for this new phase of life. Like what lessons, what best practices, what did you learn in this cycle? I know you all are sponges for learning, right? What did you learn about yourself and your purpose? We had a super full moon in Aries. Aries is ruled by the Tower card, right? What When you took action and you were assertive about being that prayer warrior, where did you pray for? Did those things come to pass? What did you learn about yourself in this cycle? Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Geminis. Let's go. Talking to you wherever Geminis in your birth chart. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. The general reading take on that resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. All right, all right, all right. What did you learn? Here we have the Four of Wands. Something that you learned about yourself is that something is really not your responsibility, like carrying other people's combative spirit is really not your responsibility to carry with you wherever you go. Their spirit of friction, chaos, and confusion, like wherever you go, if you're trying to um, live a peaceful life, it's not your responsibility to carry that with you. You can use your fire responsibly. It's coming right out, it's coming right out the gate here. In order for you to get your rest... You don't have to carry somebody else's world on your shoulders. Here's the moon card, the hermit card, the fool card, and also the hierophant card. Yeah. So you're going through some major life changes here. You're going through some major life changes. You hold the key to your universe. Yeah. And so you, it looks like you've left behind a lot of distractions wherever you moved on to. It could have been a new job, new friendship, new relationship, whatever it is, you moved on to some things because I'm looking at this moon card here. You moved on. Um, your portal is opening, so I feel like somebody could be in hermit mode. This is the uh, other side of Mercury for you. This is the Virgo. Um, and Virgos are the receivers. Your sign is the sender to Mercury, right? That's the magician card, right? So you were in receiving mode of how energy can travel, like how spirits can travel. That's why some people, they go from like one job to the next and can take that same spirit of one job to the next job. That's stress, how you can lead, like you can, you can take that spirit from home into the workplace or you can bring your job home. You heard people say you can bring your job home, right? It's the same thing. You can bring like come from one relationship into another relationship. And that's why people need time and space, like not jump from one thing to the next. You need time to go in hermit mode to process your, your need to process things, right? So that's what Source is trying to tell you is like um, you, you all being ruled by Mercury and it also connects us with travel, travel, trade, commerce, uh, knowledge, learning, messages, factual memory, all those things. So it's just saying, that spirit can travel, right? That spirit can travel. And so that's what somebody learned. When you talk about this week is going to be your work, your week to say, okay, you are banishing, repelling negativity, hexes, all those things, because you're saying it's just not your responsibility to carry other people, that spirit of like whoever's spirit of 
whatever that spirit is of chaos and confusion, you all move from your heart chakra. And so anybody who's judging you, um, competing, comparing, you you don't have to carry that spirit with you at all, wherever you are. I don't know who I'm talking to, but wherever you are, you don't have to carry that spirit with you. So, and that's what it looks like. There's some people who feel like they're competing with you or comparing with you, comparing you to something, some energies you left behind. And it's three energies. See this dark energy in the water here? And these two energies that were wearing some kind of mask. They didn't believe that you were going to, whatever it is, they didn't believe you were going to start a business, move or move on to another job. They didn't believe something about what you were going to do. They carry in this spirit with them. Like see this person right here? They didn't believe you were going to leave behind a bunch of distractions they didn't believe something about you and they committed to believing the lowest about you. And so sources saying to you, but here you are, wherever you are. I don't know where you are, but you're watching this. <laughs> wherever you are, there's some energies that have that spirit. They have that spirit of just low vibrational. They like to create chaos and confusion. So sources saying to you, there's the shadiness. There it is right there. See all these shady trees? They have a limited spiritual belief. Right, so source is saying to you, but source is cooking up something nice for you. You're free from those types of energies. You're just free from those types of energies. So this is the week. You see this person right here has their arms like, um, and see all this growth behind this person right here. You're shutting your doors to anything you're trying to grow. Nine is a death rebirth number. So if you're trying to grow something this week, and close, remember this cycle closes out on the thirty first of October. So well, let me see, for the next 10 days, I guess, for somebody, you're committed to closing off, you're just closing your door. You're like, you're not, you're not engaging. You don't want to be in any shady conversations with people, people being sarcastic, whatever. You're not interested. Nope, nope, nope. It's just a big no. Nine is the death rebirth number. You're not interested at all. And energies who are vain, vengeful, green with envy, trying to nitpick, complain, all of that, you're trying to grow something. So I don't know what you all are growing up somebody's in school. You're just not motivated by that. You're not motivated by that. So congratulations. Yeah, you're not motivated by the sword fighting. Here we have the two, the two of swords here. So yeah, you're. I feel like somebody is... So we got rite of passage here. Four and two of swords. And it's two energies. It's like want to fight, like want to sword fight, like want to get into a war of words with somebody. You are not interested. Nothing, your air sign, you know, need the power of air. You're cutting down, you're shutting down conversations of any energies that want to argue with you about anything. You're not interested. I mean, this is that simple. Nope. They're going to argue with themselves. You're protecting your water. Protecting your emotions. There's nothing to talk about. Yep. So. Yep. So source is actually um, source is actually speeding up somebody's prayers. Whatever you've been praying for, source is like because you're dealing with two energies that's on the dark side of eight. One has succumbed to passive and powerless behavior. One is egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. And all they're looking for is shady conversation being mean spirited that's all they're looking for and some kind of argument source is saying shut your doors to those types of spirits you are trying they don't believe in they don't believe to see the sun here and the moon here they don't believe in moon phases they don't have to this is where you enforce a boundary you're not going with their flow because it's something you're motivated to do i feel like somebody may be um the Eight of Wands is also about the light side of the number eight. Eight is about having a vision. You have a good product and service, even if you are the good product and service. It's like sometimes if you're a singer, a writer, a business owner, you are the good product and service, right? Um, uh, I feel like somebody's flying, like maybe traveling somewhere. You're the good product to service. Like wherever you're going, maybe you fly for business or whatever. Whatever it is you're doing, source is saying to you, you are focused. You do not have time for distraction. 
stay focused okay put that calendar together <laughs> you don't have time for yeah 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 that's how you're going to save yourself keep your calendar busy <clears throat> there's going to be some there's some energies who want to travel to you whoever these energies are they want to travel to you your doors are closed your doors are closed you're not interested in a seemingly warm fireside chat of the shade and sarcasm whoever these energies are nope yeah here we have the six of pentacles yeah because what it looks like so the six of pentacles is about like a charity like almost like give and take you know give and take almost like uh how can i word this and i don't know who this is for gemini but um mm, Source is trying to give somebody some kind of an approval. Like basically, like so if you've been applying for grant money or something like that, like source is the one that's approving you for something. So it's coming, something is coming from source that you prayed for. That's of value to you. But there are humans, like two people who are trying to basically make you feel like they're doing you a favor. I don't think that'd be a, that's a no brainer for you all because you all are an incredibly smart sign, especially if it's if it's smothered in shade. <laughs> like y'all know what I'm saying. Like if it's smothered in sarcasm, like we're doing you a favor, you know, whatever. I don't know who that part is for, and why I'm even picking up on this energy for your reading. But like I said, it's just like somebody's looking for an argument. I don't I don't even know, what, but it's some people from your past. It's like they're looking for some kind of argument from you, like to nitpick and. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this is about. Like treating you like you some kind of charity. Like you should be a part. You should be grateful to want to be a part of something. Source is saying you're not interested. You're not interested. Yeah, you're not interested in being a part of something shady. There it is. The full card came out twice. Elbow bow. Yeah. So no. Mm -mm. No. No. So it would be foolish. It would be a, it would be a mistake. It would be a when you see the with, usually when we're reading the cards upright and in reverse, it would be foolish. It would be the full card in reverse. It would be a bad risk to go back to anything where people were shady towards you in the past, especially if you move from your heart chakra. So the the danger in that because you're a mutable sign. Mutable signs, that's you, Virgo, Pisces, who's the other one, um, Sagittarius. Y'all go with the flow. You know, y'all kind of go with the flow of things. It's like, oh, okay, I just go with somebody else's flow, right? But the, that, that works for you and it can also work against you. But when you're dealing with shady people, um, they're already not being honest about something. Gemini, they're already not being honest about something. So there's already a plan. They're already not being, they're already lying about something, right? Um, but the, the, the goal is to get into finding out something about you, like behind what's going like about your financial situation. That's the goal to kind of sort of find out, oh, so how are you, how are you financially independent? How are you making your money? You know, we can just like, like I said, it feels like a warm fireside chat, right? When they were already shady to begin with. So, so like, no matter what you say, if you can keep this in mind right here, no matter what you say, they don't believe you, if that makes any sense. So if you were to say, oh, I went back to school or I'm doing this, I'm doing that, everything for them. Now, if you keep this in mind as if they are your God you would have to produce some kind of physical evidence of proof. Oh, I have a certificate and I did this. Oh, well, let's all put it together before a group of people to prove that you actually did X, Y, and Z. As if you're looking for to be a part of something, if that makes any sense, when source has already approved you for something. So again, source, I'm telling y'all, I am already know, source is telling, get as far away from that as possible. It would be foolish to go back to something. Don't even entertain a conversation. You're dealing with familiar spirits that will end up burning you. That's what I'm saying for you all. So that's how you're going to save yourself. Here's the sun card. Yeah. 
Stay away from the conversation. And I see you being very, very successful. See the sun right here. Sun illuminates the moon. If you operate, if you, um, sun illuminates the moon. Let's see right here. Here's the upside of all of this because you hold the keys to your vault door. There are energies who, somebody you're dealing with some energies who not only have a bullying spirit, like bully, like, like bully their way into your life. But you're, you're dealing with energies who don't believe anything that you say. They've analyzed everything to the hilt. So they're looking for something wrong. They look, whoever it is, they're looking for something wrong. And they feel like they're so familiar with you. They've already, they're convinced that you are a liar. That's the, that's the thing. They're convinced that you are lying about something. So anyway. Source is saying to you, you're fine though. You'll be able to defend your decision to move on from something without even coming across as defensive. Something will go very fast for you. <clears throat> go something very fast for you. Yeah. But you will be cutting ties with people permanently. Here's the goddess card. Yeah. Because they've been trying to limit your abundance and your prosperity by lying on you about somebody else. Um, and trying to limit your money. That's what they've been trying to do. Whoever these energies are trying to mess up your money. And something is, like I said, something has already ended. Source has um, the number seven. Seven is the number for completion. And something is already complete. And energies are asking why. Why is something complete? Like, what is it? And you're trying to heal. These are energies that could pray for you, but still and somehow obsessed with praying on you. I don't even, I'm surprised I don't even see the judgment card out here because... For real, just obsessed. Is a knight of wands here? Yep. So, yeah. This is what I'm saying. You're free. So it's just saying to you, just stay as far away from surge energies as humanly possible. Just stay, just stay away from them. Just stay as far away from them as possible. Here's the six of cups. I see you moving on in childlike faith. Here's the something. I feel like somebody um, grew up around somebody who is, um, speaking of spirituality, somebody in your family um, practiced a different faith, like a different spiritual belief, and was roasted. People treated them. They were, in a, they were very shady towards them. Somebody in your family, Jim and I. But somehow they, um, somehow you looked up to them. And that's, that's what inspired you. That's what kind of sort of motivated you on your path to like learning about different spiritual, like different disciplines and stuff like that. That's the energy you kind of sort of look up to in a sense, right? That's the energy. That's how you're going to save yourself because sometimes you got to go back in your memory, that nostalgic memory in your childhood and just remember how people persecute people for being different, like different spiritual beliefs. But it's somebody in your family that you looked up to that this different, like they're different religious or spiritual beliefs in your family where people were just like, oh, they're crazy. They're whatever in your family, whoever this was. We don't believe in that. They demonize them. Here's a um, devil card. Demonize somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm saying a win for you. Yep, a win for you. Source is actually rewarding you for taking the high road, but there's some energies I'm telling you who are um you're gonna feel like emotionally you hit the jackpot. Yep, emotionally you're gonna feel like you hit the jackpot because um you definitely gonna cut some energies off. I can tell you that. A lot of people are gonna cut some energies off. It's interesting when it comes to money. Here's the um, Knight of Pentacles because you're a hardworking person. When I say cut some energies off, because you're dealing with some energies that once you close your door, once you become financially independent, and I can say this in all of my readings, financial independence does not mean the same for everybody. Literally, financial independence could be a person who is debt free. Like all you're paying is your rent, car note, whatever. You may not have any other bills. 
But that's all people see. That's all. I mean, so source of Santa, you're not whatever it is. You're not really worried about. You just you're dealing with predatory energies who will lie about everything. So source is saying to you, um, that's what you're dealing with. You're about to close your door to emotionally immature energies for good. Yeah, that's what you're about to close your door to. Here's a page of cups here. <clears throat> so you got some good news coming across your path, some real good news coming across your path, right? Good news coming across your path. Good, good news. Yep, seven of cups here. The, um... Scales from your eyes have definitely been removed about some energies, right? Of just like how, what kind of um, poisonous environment they're in. Poison, like you see poisonous snakes and venomous snakes. Like the poison would be like touching the snake and just like, you know, like on your skin. You know, like something like poison on their skin. And then venomous would be like them sinking their fangs into something. Y'all know what the difference People could be in poisonous environment where they are like uh, just around poisonous energies, just being in that same space, just hearing stuff. The body is a, a portal, just being around watching everything. They watch stuff on social media. They're down on different frequencies. So they just just and just everything they look at, they just everybody's everybody is on that same frequency. Right. And we have the seven of cups. But yes, yeah, something is something is already complete. Something is already complete. You only want to be around certain spirits. Here we have the Three of Cups. So you're taking a leap of faith and moving forward. Yeah, taking a leap of faith. You're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life. Somebody could be actually signing a new lease. So, yeah. So you're in a leadership position, looking at your cards here. Being kind of on a new team of energies, and you're going to feel very lucky. Here's the uh, Wheel of Fortune here. So I feel... A little fortunate, fortunate, lucky, whatever. But so speak it into existence. Here we have the star card. Yeah. Everybody has to find their own star. The Do you see all of these stars around this moon here? So star just means purpose. Like star slash sun sign. See this star here? I mean the sun here, the sun here, just like in the sun here. Yeah. It's like as soon as you left a bunch of chaos and confusion behind, people automatically start telling lies. But that look... That looks like for you, you saw that's cracks in a foundation that lets you, and I saw that in another reading for another zodiac sign. Yeah, so I see some money coming across your path. So that's for you and somebody. You and somebody. I don't know who the somebody is. Um, hold on, who is the somebody? Somebody, somebody, somebody. Uh, somebody, somebody, somebody. Who is the somebody? Could be you and a younger person. Because I'm saying page energy here. Uh, somebody. Page energy there. So it could be, yeah, it could be you and a younger person. You could be you and a younger person. Yeah. So what somebody was trying to do, I'm excuse me, not somebody, what Source was trying to help you to do is really just become more emotionally intelligent, you know, when it comes to your creative, your creativity. You know, what you're creating is emotion, you know, your create um your emotional intelligence around what you're creating. Like basically learn how to keep people out of your business when you're trying to create because everybody's not emotionally intelligent. When it comes to your creativity. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Somebody, somebody was very jealous. Uh-huh. Knight of Cups. Somebody was very, very jealous. And created a bunch of mess. But your wishes are still being fulfilled. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, trying to get you caught up in some kind of arguments. Trying to sword fight. All of that other stuff. Whoever it is. Trying to get you some... Like I said... This, this is cards I was looking for. You're trying to get some rest. And some people trying to... You know, they're showing you cracks in a foundation. That's the seven of swords. You moving on from something, and it was two energies of like two types of energies. It could be tied to a whole lot of people, but two types of energies were just showing cracks in a foundation. Like more of just like things are not as solid as you thought they were. Your your love language is totally different than theirs. It's just like it just started up just like a blaze of a fire. Jumped to conclusions, just did all kinds of stuff. 
So, yeah. So, you have the Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands twice here. So, yeah. Yeah, High Priestess energy. Coming out twice. And it also um, opened up your, here we have, it's start your High Priestess and High Priestess um, gifts, right? So, the Source is actually adding the physical to your spiritual gifts, right? Because you're dealing with a Dark High priest and a Dark High Priestess, right? So, they all, they're convinced of some darkness, right? But Source is bringing you into the light about some things. So, there you go. 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 Dealing with jealous energies. Your motivation has changed. You're finally getting some rest. People have familiar spirits around you, looking at your financial independence, or thinking that they're looking at your financial independence, watching every little thing that you do. So it's you versus you. You have the gift of clairsentience. It's time to release the burden. Like I said before, you have the gift of clairsentience. You pick up on others' vibrations, moods, emotions, and feelings, but everything in moderation. Yeah, somebody has a python spirit. They lie about everything, so. And um, toxic masculinity, but... Toss something into a burning bowl so you can move on. But listen to your inner voice. Keep you keep moving forward. You're closing out a cycle in love is what you're doing. And just leave them behind. Yeah. What somebody doesn't realize is that somebody has been associated with your nightmares for years. I'm going to delve deeper into this. I don't know who this part is for, but... Um, even though the judgment card isn't coming out of your reading... Gemini, but somebody has been obsessed with you for years. And the reason why I know that is because of, hold on, of this card right here, the Drew card. They associated, there's a nocturnal spirit associated with nightmares. Somebody has been, um, um, I've never seen this TV show. But, oh my goodness, what's the name of the show? I would see people, like, put little funny memes and stuff about it on, on Instagram. What was the name of that show? I want to say it was, like, a dark comedy. I've never seen the show, but I've seen people put, like, this guy, he was, like, this stalker kind of guy, but he was... He would just always like show up at places like that's the energy that I'm getting from this reading here is like what is the name and then, then that you versus you card came out maybe didn't know me the show was you I don't know um that's kind of what I'm getting from your reading though this week for you all though is going to be a week of focus of like really increasing your prayer life <clears throat> keeping your vault door closed um, keeping energies away that are seemingly coming to you in like this warm fireside chat. We just want to talk, you know, um, whatever. These could be family members, you know, um, could be one family member, whoever, <clears throat> who's trying to engage you in some kind of argument or whatever. But whatever it is, door closed. Door closed. Yeah, door closed. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. My future is full of light. Future is full of light. Because I'm seeing misery loves company. Whatever you figured out how to do for yourself, business or whatever you figure out how to do for yourself, source is definitely aligning you with other energies who are you inspired and motivated to be around them. That's it. So just take a walk. Take a walk. Take a walk. But yeah. You're going to be cutting some people off. It's a lot of people are. Your health. Yeah, your physical and mental health is just very, it's equally as important. Like some people are just. Abundance. I cannot lose what is mine by divine right. All good things come in due time. I operate by faith, not fear. Everything I need for success is within me. I am the key. All right. That is what I have for you all. Let me see if there's a number for you all. And we're going to close this out. Let's see if there's a number for you so we can close this out. But yeah, wow, some people told some lies about you. 
Jeez. 11, I'm intuitive. So you have keen awareness of what's happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift. It'll help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. Oops, I am intuitive. I'm intuitive. So yeah, get some structure. Make sure, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all are structured. Y'all are an incredibly smart sign. I'm quite sure you're in structure. But it's also just a lot, it's helping you to make sure who you are also aligned to or to. Because if you're around, if you're in a group of energies, any organization where people do this kind of stuff, this a, it's a blaring reminder that you need to detach from these kind of being around these types of energies. It's all fun and games until you become a target of something. That's what sort of trying to tell somebody. It's like you being around these energies until you are part of something. So that's what I have for you. Um, so make it a great week. Make it a great week. All right. Bye.